feel a bit understeery, but not too bad. I, it's hard to make a verdict because suspension is stiff and the tires are really not the best option for the track. It's not understeer off the track. I guess it's in. 528 PS, roughly horsepower and 630 Newton meters. Audi S3 by MTM. That's basically what we'll be driving today, thanks to Oli, who you've seen last year, who brought also another Audi RS3, was it back yeah, then? The RS3 from HEP, this time from uh, MTM. MTM. Nice, so you have a thing with Audis, I guess, then. Are we gonna try to do a BMW next time or something, or a Porsche? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? It would be nice. It would be nice. You must scare me now, because the last time <laughs> I was a bit scared and yeah. tried it without, uh, without me screaming. <laughs> well, Therefore, another chance for the Audi and me being relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> On the other hand, it's also quite grey uh, clouds and it has been raining the whole morning, so the track is probably also wet. But then again, we have Quattro, we have all-wheel drive. So, Audi S3, uh, the stock power is around 310, I believe, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But thanks to MTM, it went a bit up, almost a double, 523, yeah, no, 528, yeah, 5 horsepower, very important. Now, S3 uh, is actually a lot better basis for the track than RS3, because RS3 has the engine over the front axle, it's a lot heavier, so it's under more understeery or Audi steery. In this case, it should be a bit better, because you have the engine behind the front axle and it's also four cylinder instead of five so overall it should be uh, it should be okay yeah yeah let's let's check the engine however the car is more of a show car so we can see we have a quite a narrow uh, what's it called sidewall on the tires running we're running 265 30 19 on the front which has some fancy stickers because the car again was on the show on a stand as a show car so let's see if we can get them off after our lap or something. Um, KW, well, it's nice and clean, almost stuck. If someone, if someone would ask from the police, but then again, since it's an official MTM build, everything is in the papers. Uh, nice carbon fiber spoiler, I like. I doubt we will be able to notice any difference today in the wet conditions. Uh, different exhaust, all kinds of other things. What else do we have? Uh, oh yeah, most importantly, what I love, is the Caro podium seats. First time I'll be driving a car with these seats. Absolutely magnificent. And we have also sort of a roll cage in the back. It's a roll cage, but I don't want to test it. But it's there. Again, let's see if on the track it will be more of a go car than it is on the outside as a show car. Let's hop in, do a lap. We actually have a price list here. So the base price of the car is almost 50,000. The performance upgrade still needs to be announced. I and then 15. 15? I guess, I don't, I, I'm not sure. Okay, something around that and then all the other side mods. Yeah, the, the Ricardo podium seat, Stan Grand. Yep, that's probably the most expensive seat you can get. Carbon yep. fiber. Yep. With well, VIA registration also. Exactly. Cool. Let's go, let's go. Aircon on, off? Yeah, let it on. Yeah? It's an easy lap. We're doing it cool. It's not gonna help us with any power anyway. <laughs> True. Okay, with the new Audi and Volkswagen Golf, when you don't have a gear selector, I think you just press it and then it ends up a manual and hopefully it will stay yeah, there. Absolutely. But that's weird, isn't it? Without yeah. The... We are in you see sport because I don't know the circumstances. Off we go. Whee! Oh, back again. Nice. We have a bit of a dry line here, which is good. In my opinion, great brakes. Yeah, I gotta remember that we have a bit of a stock tire, it's not really performance tire. Come on, chop chop. I know it's holiday, but... Oh, you're full of that Porsche? Yeah, it's a taxi, I'll let him pass because it makes no sense. We're on a warm-up lap anyway. Hello. It's great for the, yeah. for the, for the pictures. <laughs> yeah. Really good. <laughs> There's no grip in the tires. 
for the weight of the car and you need to save your slicks. Suspension is quite hard. Yeah, it's hard. It's too hard for the for the Yeah. yeah.
I see the issue. We're at 142 degrees of oil temperature. Maybe I'll take it easy. Okay, yeah, maybe that's why. That's why it's in uh, good love. Yeah, in the limp mode. Oh. I'll slow down a bit. Hope yeah. the cooling was upgraded then. Maybe that's the issue. Does it have an extra oil cooler? Something that uh, need to check. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, great to to have feedback from you because you have the experience. And we're not driving a race. We're we, we, we're driving fast, but not to be. We're not. We are trying to kill the car. No. We're driving. So much under steer. <laughs> engine car to actually go this high the only thing I the only time I had it was with an M2 when I was following another car bumper to bumper so it had no no, uh, yeah, no, no, no air moving. coming in yeah, but yeah, yeah. we had a free track and it was not like you know what we have 135 yeah but yeah, yeah it dropped now but still I guess that's why the engine okay yeah bigger oil cooler then yes please and stick your tires and then we'll go again deal deal thanks so much great yeah. lab nice weather yeah hope you enjoyed my lab <laughs> <laughs> I, I did like th the car like in terms of power delivery is nice it's really good but the tires really ruin the fun it's uh, the brakes are actually also quite good because the brake pedal was consistent yeah okay um big issue last time huh? Remember yeah where, where oh yeah today? exactly With exactly the, yeah because but, no no sports uh brake yeah but now the brake brakes were there as far as i could tell but tires could just not handle it it was really not meant for for a track at all but for the rest it was uh, quite fun yeah I, I would like to try it with uh, some stickier tires and a bit softer suspension but uh, I think tires gonna do a lot if you have already more sidewalls so it can actually flex a bit big flex um, yeah no nice cool. experience thanks so much yeah thank you and uh, see you next time mm, the stickers are still on Ooh, so much heat coming off the brakes nice so which tires were we running? Proxus, Proxus what? Toyo, maybe on the back? Well, Proxus Sport. Proxus Sport. So yeah, not even T1R, R1R, let alone our Triple H, no. So if you're thinking of getting those, do not get them for the track. For street, good. Track, no. 